So I've got on the right hand side the new iPhone 4S, left hand side is the original iPhone 4. Um, with the new dual core A5 chipset along with more memory, iOS 5 integration and whatnot, um, you're going to get a much better performance on the iPhone 4S including up to seven times better graphics performance. Uh, one of the areas that you're going to see a, a big improvement um, in is the web browsing. So with that, I'm going to give you some uh, quick demonstrations on, I mean comparison uh, between the two browsers on the original iPhone 4 and then iPhone 4S. But before that, let's go in and clear out some cache and data and whatnot just to make sure it's a fair fight. Clear cache. There's no cache clearing on here, by the way, so you have to clear cookies and data. So I just did that. So let's bring up the browser. Okay. Um, never mind this, we already cleared that, so that doesn't matter. Okay, are we ready? Your mark. Cassette. Go. I hope the mobile page doesn't load up. Ah, there it is. Can't stop that from happening. So let's go ahead and bring this up. All right, that's fine. That's just the front page of Slash Gear. Um, once the iPhone 4 catches up, um, even though iPhone 4S loaded afterwards, it's still completed way ahead of, uh, ahead of the iPhone 4. We're gonna take a look at, eh, let's say, let's stop this since we're on here. Um, let's go and bring up one of my hands on. So this is browsing a tag or a section on Slash Gear. And let's see here. Ah, there you go. How about an iPhone 4S hands on? Okay. You see how web pages are loaded on the iPhone 4S? And it's completed actually. iPhone 4 is still loading. Let's give it a few more seconds to finish up. And it's not finishing up anytime soon. Oh, there it goes. So what if we visit the New York Times? Everyone goes to the New York Times, right? Web page is already loaded on the iPhone 4S. And it's finished. How about if we go to an article? And it's done. Pretty wickedly fast. So how about one more for for fun? Um, Wall Street Journal. I like to use that because it's a big, heavy site. Are you impressed yet? Because I know I am. Finish. Still loading. How about let's rudely interrupt and bring up an article. Okay, so you're saying to yourself, hmm, this is single core, this is dual core. You got something faster for me? In fact, I do. So let's put the iPhone 4 aside. This here is the Galaxy S2 on T-Mobile running Qualcomm 1.5 gear dual core gigahertz processor iPhone 4S A5 dual core chipset so to be fair 
let's go and clear out cache again and settings oh clear cache where are you clear data I know I just saw it clear data cache there it is okay let's head back to the browser okay so forget about slash gear huh <laughs> this is gonna be funny let's not go to slash gear let's go straight to Wall Street Journal because we know the page is gonna load up ready mark set go as you can see Wall Street Journal web page is already loaded Android is still struggling to get there and I'm not sure why but let's take a look maybe I didn't press enter quick enough but anyways now that's loaded or in the process of getting loaded let's try to bring up an article and see okay so Ads are loaded on the iPhone 4S and it's done. A couple of seconds faster. Now what if we did this? Do you see how the text on the iPhone 4S completed first? And it's finished. So what happens if we visit the New York Times? If I can type. Oh, that's not fair. The mobile page came up. Uh, let's see. Bring up the full site. Okay. So once it's up, let's just randomly bring up an article. Bam. You see how text, pictures, and whatnot load so much faster. And it's finished. Um... Let's do one more. Let's head back to Slash Gear. I think mobile page is going to load up on here first, but let's do that and see if it still loads faster than Android. And by the way, this is running Android 2.3.5, which is the latest available version of Android Gingerbread. As you can see, iPhone 4S, finish. And it actually had a late start. Um, let's bring up this guy. Text is a little bit faster on the Android side, but iPhone 4S pulled way ahead and finished before Android. So as you see, um, things move along pretty quickly on the iPhone 4S and it's basically wickedly fast I like to use that word wicked because that's what it is it's extremely fast my RSS feed subscription I mean pretty amazing thousands and thousands of articles I can get through pretty quickly Everyone likes to demo. And I don't want to use that.
Oh, pretty awesome, huh?